So this is the new look at the Sofitel Wentworth in Sydney. Matilda is their new bar. And in September when we came, everything was still under renovation. Delta is also another bar at level five. The new foyer has new lights. And on your right is the Tilda bar. Unfortunately, they don't take A core plus. There's some couches on the right for you to wait. And then to your left, there's actually some self check-ins. To the left of the lift, you do get customer service. So you can check in that way as well. And we're heading to our room. Going up. Alright, one, five, five, two. Here we go. Come on in. Today we are staying for our first time in a while at the Subatel Wentworth and it's our first time for a long time. They're under renovations at the moment. Part of it's been renovated. This room we're staying in has been renovated and we're going to check it out. And we've been upgraded from a standard room to a suite. So today you get to check out what a suite looks like at the Sofitel Wentworth. So as you walk in, you get to walk straight into a bedroom and to your right, they've just got a big wardrobe with the ironing board for your good night out, the safe, the good old Sofitel slippers, and then your shoe shining equipment. We've also got the wardrobe for more. The umbrella if you need it when it's raining like it is today. You've got the gowns and something to put your suitcase on. And then to your left, we've got the bathroom. So it's nice and bright in here. Got the standard bathtub, the wash basin and then the shower not a rain shower unfortunately but it's big enough and then you've got your big mirror for your dressy weekend out and this is the king bed in one of the rooms in the suite so nice and big it's got a big screen tv as well so you can have a look. There is current renovation, so hopefully the noise won't be too in our ears tonight. And then around the corner, it looks like a wardrobe, but it's actually a little extra bathroom or extra toilet really. So that's always convenient. No sharing required. And then we head down and there's a living room. So you can have a few people sitting and have a good conversation if you wish at one of these chairs. And there's also a little dining table to the corner that you can also have a meal if you like. And because at the moment the restaurants aren't fully operational, you can actually order in-house dining as well. So if you're an Acor Plus member, you can still get 50% off your food by ordering on their um, in-room dining. So that's always a bonus. We're a platinum member at the moment with Acor. So we've actually got a wine. They asked us if we would like a red or a white. We've just requested a red and some chocolates as well as our welcome pack. But this is the suite. And it does normally look out to the road or you can see the construction a little bit from here. But not much of a view when you're staying here, but it is convenient if you're heading towards Circular Quay or Pitt Street. Um, that's always something that's a bit easier, convenient. So there you have it. This is the suite and this is the room. Oh, what else do we have in here? So there's the coffee maker and the kettle. This is your 
extra snacks if you wish to purchase some food. It's a Italian coffees and espresso. So they let you just enjoy nothing in there. What else have we got? The cups, glassware, oh, empty, empty. You can smell the fresh actual wood. So it's a whole new furniture. And then you've got those drinks if you want to purchase them as well. So that's our room today. And we'll let you see what is on offer in this hotel for the moment as we venture around as well. Okay, so we've just entered the lounge for the executive lounge. So it's not in operation right now. So they've actually just used a room that they've got on level four, but they do serve drinks from one o'clock onwards to about 9 p.m. And then there's afternoon teas and canopies later as well. So we're just gonna sit and have a bit of a coffee in the afternoon. So our coffee just got served and before my husband could get his the camera out to film it, I already took a sip, so that's what happens when you see a good cappuccino coming along, right? Mm. But yes, my afternoon tea will be served very soon. And I can see the chef putting them out, so we'll check it out, see what there is to eat. Milkier than I like. Probably just a touch too much milk in it. And hubby's got a mocha. It looks like it's got a lot of hot chocolate in that. So we've got the afternoon tea serving. So there's a falafel, lettuce, tomato, and hummus wraps. Nice and healthy. There's some crab meat and namjin Asian slaw. And then there's some spicy chicken mayo sandwiches as well. Then on the sweet side, you've got the lemon meringue, some fruit platter, and some cheesecake by the looks of it. And there's supposed to be some scones. Oh yes, hot scones. We'll definitely have that. So we're gonna give them a go and see how it is. You can have a bite from me. I'm going to try the meringue. Oh, good. Savory and sweet on the same plate. And the cheesecake. They have to come back with the scone later. Okay. All right, let's see. This is the crab meat baguette with Asian slaw. Taste the crab meat. It's a little bit fishy. There's a decent amount of crab meat in here, which is good. Lemon meringue. A good meringue there. It's yummy. Mm. Mm. That's a good balance in the meringue. The tart's quite yummy. Mm. I quite like that one actually. Meringue to lemon. Meringue to lemon curd has done quite well. Good ratio and good consistency in the meringue. So what this looks like a cheesecake. It's 
very light and fluffy. No really strong cheesy taste though. It's like one of those serially, you know, big plated cheesecakes. A bit more spongy. Well, this is a Japanese cheesecake, I like it. Mm. Firm. It's okay. to put jam first or cream first? Um, jam first, guys. Dates. Mm. Mm. Alright, we're at evening canopies tonight. And we're just going to see what's on offer. So there's some breads, sourdough and baguettes, and crackers and cheese. There's some smoked salmon as well. Mm. And then you've got all your little dips too. And then they've got some nigiris, prawns, like beef, tofu, and then there's some eel assorted sushis. There's the eel one and the scallop one, which I would definitely get a few of those. And some fish cake. And curry puff. So a few varieties to choose from tonight. We'll definitely give it a go, hey? So, let's try curry puff. Try a Thai sweet chili sauce. So, definitely got my eyes on the scholars. I have to get two of those. Oh, and a nigiri. Just get two nigiris too. Yep. So it's evening canopy time. So we're just at the lounge. Obviously it's a temporary lounge, but the food as you have seen, it's not too bad looking. We got ourselves our drinks, which I've got a gin and tonic today, and then we're gonna try our food. So, very Asian. So we've got the scallop, the eel. See what's underneath the eel? Mm. Take it off. It's just a seaweed with some mayo underneath it. And then the curry puff and fish cake. So I'm a scallop fan, so obviously I've got two of these. Okay. The scallops is sweet, but the rice is a bit hard. I would be happy to just eat the scallop on the sun if I was allowed. So you can see there's the beef one, beef sushi, and then there's also the tofu one and prawns as well. So there's quite a few different selections of sushi as well that you can choose from. Fish cake time. Mm. Fish cake isn't too bad could be a little bit warmer but it's been just sitting out there under those hot lamps I guess. The 
had good appetizers. I like the, the scallops sweet. Let's try the eel one. There's cucumber underneath the eel one. That's, that gives it the crunch. Curry puffs got potatoes and peas, corn. Poster is quite thin. Which is what I usually like to. So the selection wise is not too bad. You do get a variety that's decent enough for a lounge visit with some drinks. And if you're going out for dinner, it's more than enough to just get a bit of drinks and nibblies in before you go out. Probably the cheese and cheese platters and cold platters are pretty good. Just, um, so you do have a few options, but yeah, it's not, not bad, but the sushi could be a little bit better. I still like, I'm oh, happy to eat scallops without the rice, if I had a choice. So there's the eggplant, salmon, ham, and capsicum. They're always really yummy. Can't get wrong with those. That's an executive lounge. So we came back from our dinner and one of the great things about staying in a five-star hotel is turn down service. So if you haven't had a turn down service, it's good not to put a do not disturb when you leave the room because they can't come in and do that little extra bit for you. So when we came in on the bed, we got water and we got some tea just put on the side for us. Obviously not as exciting as some other turn down services, but Hey, look, the fact that they've done it and they got your room ready so that you can have a good night's sleep is always what I call service when you're at a five-star hotel. Some places give you extra treats. They usually clean your bathroom, give you new towels if you've used them, clean your, yeah, clean everything up for you. So that's one little tip that you do get when you're actually at the Sofitel Wentworth. Okay. So, at the moment, because the restaurant's not fully open, we've actually got, they've set it up in a separate room. So the buffet breakfast. Got the condiments, or congee, obviously, by the looks of things. These look like tassel bao. And then the congee, just plain congee there. Got some fried rice. Vegetarian, no eggs, I see. Standard Asian vegetables, the cereals, and then there's some. I think this is the gluten free section, maybe. Because they've put them, maybe maybe not. I don't know, buff muffins, friants, they're made of almond. So yeah, I think that's gluten free there. And there's the yogurt section with the fruits and berry compost, muesli, birch muesli, and then there's the fruits. And then the cold meats, whole fruits, crackers and cheese platter. And then the pastries, the danishes, the chocolate croissants, cinnamon strolls, custard pastry by the looks of it, there's some plain ones, and there's some, it looks like a little donut, and then just some breads, 
that might be a banana bread. There's no labels on these things at the moment. And your sourdough. Nutella, big jar of Nutella. The hot, this is the hot stand, so you've got scrambled eggs. Sausage and bacon. Baked beans and mushrooms. And then there's a Old eggs. And there's potato gems. <laughs> so there you have it. That's breakfast um, at the Sofitel Wentworth. Their selection ticks all the boxes of what you want in a breakfast generally for buffet. You can have your hot plates and your cold. Selection can be slightly limited because of probably the size they have, but that's the Sofitel Wentworth. And we were able to order some eggs and um, because we're platinum members I think we've also got the um, omelette and we also ordered an egg benedict so we'll see how they all go. Okay. Alright so we're at the breakfast and it is included because we're platinum members and it is a little bit limited but it's sufficient. It's got all the hot food that we've just gone through. I ordered myself a coffee today going a bit different we're going oatmeal cap so a little bit on the groovy aside maybe and then we've also got the general hot and cold food as well so nothing splashy but it's roomy enough at the moment at seven o'clock in the morning and we can still enjoy our breakfast so yeah coffee's nice here baristas know what they're doing and then we just got some baked beans i think they're homemade you can see there's some chickpeas and some broad beans in there as well, so. And then we've ordered some eggs on the way, so I can see that coming now too. That's your right, yes, egg. thank you. That's an eggs Beautiful. Excellent. Thank, thank you. you. So, as a nice little treat. Able to even order egg benedicts today. So that is something. If you're a platinum member, I think you can get that option added to it. And I've just ordered some plain eggs, to, some poached ones for myself. So that will complement my meal quite well, I think. Okay. And let's see if it's running or not. Okay. Let's open and see. Let me just cut it open and it will. Oh yeah, nice and runny. So it's done well. Good job, chef. All right, so we'll just enjoy and we'll give you a conclusion of our stay at the Sofitel Wentworth soon. So we just stayed at the Sofitel Wentworth in the Prestige Suite. We were upgraded from a junior suite, which we had used a suite upgrade with the ACOR membership my husband had. And because he's also a platinum member, we had the privilege of using the executive, executive lounge, which was giving us afternoon tea and also evening canopies. And they were actually very good, even though the this hotel has not been fully refurbished and all the facilities are not actually op fully operational. They did cater for everyone to enjoy the hotel stay. And I have to say, I was still quite pleased with the afternoon tea that was served and also the evening canopies. So the, cus the customer service was good. They were attentive enough and they provided us a, a nice experience while we've stayed here today. For breakfast today, it was everyone in one room and then obviously the the buffet was set in another room so you could still go and get a wide selection of food for breakfast and they were quite decent. It ticked all the main things that was available and you also had the option of ordering the eggs whether you want them any way you like those eggs to be made as well as you could also get omelettes and my husband actually got a egg benedict so that's also very nice. In summary what we've encountered with our stay was the only thing I really didn't like was probably the online check, the self check-in. So when you come into the foyer, they actually have set up these 
self-check-in now and that was a bit impersonal for me. When you're in a five-star hotel and you're a platinum member, I think it would be so much nicer to just sit down and have that one-on-one -on -one conversation and be greeted nicely and welcomed into the hotel, which I felt just lacked. Even though there was a concierge or someone to help you with the self-check-in, you're missing a lot of information about the hotel. So when we actually had to go after that and ask someone, then we got given a piece of paper to show us where everything is, what the hours are, what's open, where do we go for certain things. And I really appreciate that a lot more when we check into a hotel. So the self-check-in for me just didn't do it. And maybe people who don't want to talk to someone or have been to a hotel a hundred times would be happier with a self-check-in. But for us, it just didn't quite hit the bill. Uh, can I can understand why it's there, but it's not my preference. So besides that, the hotel is still under renovation. It was actually not too loud um, when we stayed last night, so I could sleep quite well. The beds are great and it was a nice day. So we will be back and I'll do another video for you when it's all completely done. So I hope you enjoyed my video today and we'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.